Welcome to the moon. Really, I'm on the moon right now. I took a spaceship and uh, got as far away as planet from planet Earth as I could. I had one more stop to make before I head to my final destination for the winter. And I said to myself before I left New Jersey, uh, I said I just wanted to get to Arizona and settle in for the winter and uh, find work and kind of do my thing. And while I've been on the road, I find myself wanting to explore more, wanting to adventure more. And it's really these kind of, it's a kind of a tug of war, war between two uh, wants. <laughs> but what I really need is to just settle down and be chill for the winter. And uh, that was my decision all along and I was going through with it. But it was interesting because I found myself at times, again, wanting to explore more wanting to adventure more and when I would start to kind of waver off of sort of having that final destination um, would start to get angsty and stuff like that so kind of taking a step back and listening to those feelings and understanding that you know what I need needs and wants right what are needs what are wants it takes a long time to figure out what our needs are and I'm still figuring them out today but Again, my need right now is to settle down. I've been on the road for three months, three and a half months. Of course, I stopped back in Jersey for a little bit, but I really haven't had a grounding place to be in, in a while. So I'm looking forward to getting into Arizona after landing back on planet Earth. Um, found myself in Southwest Texas near Big Bend National Park a few days ago. I met up with a friend of mine who uh, last time I saw him was out in Japan. And I was out in the middle of nowhere, similar to here. No one around, some wild horses. Uh, Mexico, I could see Mexico. And I thought to myself, this is it. <laughs> how do I ever go back into that society into that world where there's just madness how do I work a nine to five how do I just be confined into such a tough tough world right now you're out there and this is all you hear nothing you hear nothing you don't think about anything vaccines I should, probably shouldn't have said that because now my video is probably gonna get censored <laughs> no no sickness no politics nothing it's just here well I do have to find work for the winter and I am I've been looking at jobs, nothing has come up yet. I applied for one job, didn't hear back from them, but um, <laughs> it's something out here. And I hope one day all of you get to experience stuff like this. I've said over and over again, being out west, it's a different world. Once you, I mean, when you cross the Mississippi, you still sort of have rural land. I don't, know. I don't know how to say it. But once you get through Texas, which is a really long drive, and you start getting into the mountains, and then you get out to here, it's just fucking, like, it's epic. And I'm so happy to be here right now. I'm so happy. Every decision I made as quickly, I, well, I shouldn't say quickly. Thoughts of getting rid of the business for a while. Um, but it just, it happened so quick. And man, I'm at a loss for words, so. I guess the point of the video is just keep listening to those inner pulls, those inner tugs. Your, you know, your feelings will tell you what you need to feel. And unfortunately, we live in a world where we, we numb it out, myself included. Um, but those feelings are your biggest, your biggest compass. And it's led me here. 
and it'll lead me to Arizona, where again I'm in I'm in settler mode. <laughs> I'm no I'm not in nomadic mode right now. I don't think I'm gonna be in nomadic mode till probably the spring or summer, but we'll see what kind of job I land here. And uh, continue to take it day by day. So stay safe out there. Question everything. Don't believe everything that the people up here have to say, or I should say down there, because I'm on the moon. <laughs> so yeah, checking out. I'll see you all soon. Um, got some lovely photos to share. I will be in touch. Bye.